Saint Mother Theodore Gouverin S.P., was of French-American descent and the foundress of the Sisters of Providence of Saint Mary of the Woods. The Catholic Church celebrates her feast day every October 3rd. Born Anne-Therese Gouverin on October 2, 1798 in the village of Edibles sur mer in Brittany, France. Her mother was Isabelle Lefebvre while her father, Laurent Gouverin, was an officer in the French Navy under Napoleon Bonaparte. She had a younger sister, Marie Jean. However, her two brothers did not survive to see adulthood. The Gouverin sisters were mostly educated at home by their mother and later by a relative who lived with the family. At an early age, Anne Therese devoted her life to serving God. At age 10, she took her first communion, two years earlier than the custom at that time, and confided to a priest that she wished to enter the religious community when she got older. Unfortunately, when Anne Therese was 15, her father was killed by bandit robbers. Her mother fell into deep depression and already lost two children. As the elder daughter, the responsibility to take care of their mother falls on Anne Therese's shoulders. It is said that around the age of 20, Anne Therese asked her mother's blessing to join a religious order. However, she refused as she was still unable to cope with her loss. It was after five years later her mother permitted her to leave home to join the religious community. On August 18, 1823, Anne Therese entered the Sisters of Providence of Roulet sur Loire congregation and was given the religious name of Sister Theodore. She professed first vows on September 8, 1825, and perpetual vows six years later, on September 5, 1831. Sister Theodore spent her early years as an educator, beginning as a teacher at Prouly sur Clés in central France. In 1826, she began serving as a teacher and superior at the St. Aubin Parish School in Rennes before her transfer to a school at Solanes in the Diocese of Angers. She also ministered to the needs of the area's sick and poor and received a medal for her teaching from the inspector for the Academy of Angers. While working in France, Sister Theodore became seriously ill, most likely with smallpox. Although she recovered, the illness damaged her digestive system which resulted in her only being able to eat a simple, bland diet for the rest of her life. On July 15, 1840, Sister Theodore and five of her companions departed from France to sail to the United States. They arrived at St. Mary of the Woods, Indiana on October 22, 1840, in a small, remote village in the wilderness in Vigo County, a few miles northwest of Terre Haute. For several months, the sisters lived in a small frontier farmhouse with the Thralls family, along with a few postulants who had been waiting for them when they arrived. The group settled in western Indiana where Sister Theodore became the devoted leader of the Sisters of Providence of St. Mary of the Woods congregation. Soon, they opened several schools across Indiana and eastern Illinois for the Diocese of Vincennes, Indiana, as well as ministering to the needs of orphans, the sick, and the poor. In July 1841, Mother Theodore and the Sisters of Providence of St. Mary of the Woods opened St. Mary's Academy for Young Women. The Academy was the forerunner of St. Mary of the Woods College. Mother Theodore had doubts that the new institution would succeed. As she reflected in her journals, it is astonishing that this remote solitude has been chosen for a novitiate and especially for an academy. All appearances are against it. From July 1840 to January 1849, Mother Theodore worked with Catholic parishes to establish parish schools at several sites within the Diocese of Vincennes. Mother Theodore personally directed the establishment of St. Joseph School, 1842, in Jasper, St. Anne's Academy, 1844, in Madison, St. Augustine's, 1846, in Fort Wayne, and St. Vincent's Academy, 1849, in Terre Haute, all in Indiana, and St. Francisville in Illinois. During this time, Mother Theodore made trips to France to raise funds to found schools. Bishop Celestine Guinemer de la Highlandière of the vast Diocese of Vincennes, established two additional schools in Indiana while Mother Theodore was traveling in France and assigned them to the Sisters of Providence to operate, St. Peter Montgomery, 1843, and St. Mary Female School Vincennes, 1843. 
After her return to the United States from a fundraising trip to France, Mother Theodore, with the help of the Sisters of Providence, established six other schools in Indiana, two in Evansville, St. Joseph's Academy, 1853, and Assumption, 1853, St. Patrick's, 1853, in North Madison, St. Mary's, 1853, at Fort Wayne, St. Mary's, 1854, at Lanesville, and St. Bartholomew, 1855, at Columbus. In addition to establishing schools, Mother Theodore and the Sisters of Providence cooperated in the establishment of two orphanages in Vincennes and free pharmacies at Vincennes and St. Mary of the Woods. Mother Theodore suffered from poor health for most of her adult life. However, her health started to deteriorate in March 1856. She died on May 14, 1856, at the Mother House at St. Mary of the Woods, Indiana, at the age of 57. In 1907, Mother Theodore's remains were exhumed. It was found that her brain had not fully decomposed after 51 years in the grave. This phenomenon was the first physical sign to consider her life and service to the people of the area worthy of further investigation. In 1909, the cause for canonization was introduced, the first step in the extensive process of declaring saints in the Roman Catholic Church. During the early phase of the process, 24 individuals provided personal accounts of their experiences with Mother Theodore. On October 25, 1998, after the first miracle attributed to her was accepted, Pope John Paul II beatified and bestowed the title of Blessed on Mother Theodore. On July 1, 2006, Pope Benedict XVI gave his final approval for her canonization as a saint, and the canonization ceremony was held on October 15, 2006. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.